Now in this class let's learn rules of integration. What are the various algebraic rules that are used to integrate any given function? If you become familiar with these rules, integration becomes easy for you. And in today's class I want to discuss two important rules. There are some other rules also which we will take up in future classes. In today's class I will take up only two rules. One is the, the first rule is the constant rule. The constant rule, in fact, when I discussed about the constant of in integration, I have already told that after you finish the process of integration and once that integral symbol is not seen in the problem, it means that you have finished the process of integration. At that stage, you should add the constant C. Of course, that's also one of the rules of integration. Now here, I want to focus upon a constant K which is present along with a function f of x which is integrated with respect to dx. k is a constant or I can say it is the coefficient of the function f of x and the process of integration is performed with respect to dx. Now, <clears throat> any problem on integration, it is a habit to write i on the left hand side. The given problem is referred to as i. You know, in differentiation, the function to differentiate will be f of x. We call it as y equals f of x. And then we write differentiate with respect to x. Then we write the symbol of differentiation that is dy by dx. And we differentiate f of x to get f dash of x and so on. In the same way, the given problem for integration should be written as i. And then it is understood that we are performing the operation of integration with respect to x. The constant rule says take out the constant take out the constant from integration sign. That's all. And then you are free to integrate. So i becomes equal to k is outside the integral sign f of x dx. Now let's suppose that by integrating f of x, I get phi of x with the constant of integration c. So this i will be now equal to k times phi of x plus c. See for example, integration of 3 sin x dx. Here you observe that 3 is the constant which is sitting in the place of k. Let's call the given function as i equals integral 3 sin x dx. The constant rule says take out the constant from the integration sign. So take out 3 from the integration sign outside. Then you are left with integral sin x dx. Now you have by heart at the list of standard integrals that I have given in my previous class. And you know that sin x dx integration of sin x dx is minus cos x. So answer is 3 times of minus cos x plus c or i is equal to minus 3 cos x plus c. You observe that the constant has come out of the integration sign. Now look at this example. Integration of 2 by 5x to the power of 6 dx. Here if you observe 2 by 5, the fraction 2 by 5 is the constant k. So you can write this as i equals 2 by 5 into 1 by x to the power of 6 dx. This is exactly the same as this because 2 is in the numerator. 2 into 1 gives 2, 5x to the power of 6 in the denominator. Now the rule says take out the constant outside the integral sign. So take out 2 by 5 which is the constant and now you are left with 1 by x to the power of 6 which I can write it as x to the power of minus 6 dx in order to use the power rule. Okay? So according to the power rule, x to the power of n dx is x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. So i equals 2 by 5, the constant outside the integral sign as it is, into, now you differentiate x to the power of minus 6, it is x to the power of minus 6 plus 1 divided by minus 6 plus 1, 
plus zero. And further, you can simplify and keep the answer. Okay? This is the constant rule. Now, I'll go to the second rule. The second rule is also very simple. It is called as the sum rule and difference rule. The sum rule and difference rule of integration. So when I say sum rule, when I'm, that means it clearly indicates that there are many functions are added. Sum of many functions like f of x is one function, you have another function g of x, h of x, r of x, so many functions are there. f of x is one function, g of x is another function, h of x, r of x and so on. Now when these functions are added, I have to put plus signs and these functions can be subtracted. It is f of x plus r minus g of x plus r minus h of x plus r minus r of x plus r minus, okay, let it go to many times. Now you want to integrate the sum of all these functions or the difference of all these functions. So you want to integrate, so what you need to put a integration sign. All the functions have to be differentiated, sorry, integrated. So enclose all these functions with one dx sign. Call this as the given integral i. <coughs> the rule says separate each function separate each function for integration. This is some rule or difference rule. Both rules are same. Separate each function for integration. So if I separate then it becomes i equals integral first function f of x. The moment I put integral sign I should put dx which means that integration is performed with respect to x plus or minus integral g of x dx plus or minus integral h of x dx plus or minus integral r of x dx plus or minus and so on. So what we have done here, this is called as the rule of separation. If you have the sum or difference of many functions for one integration, then you can separate each of those functions and integrate them separately. So let's take an example for this. Say let's have a function uh, which is i equals 5x to the power 4 minus 3x to the power 3 plus 2x square plus x plus 1. You want to integrate. So I put one common integral sign, enclose all the terms in 1 dx. f of x, g of x, h of x, r of x, some constant. The rule says separate each function for integration. So this implies according to the rule i equals integral 5x to the power 4 dx minus integral 3x cube dx. Then I have plus sign plus integral 2x square dx, then plus integral x into dx, plus integral 1 into dx, that is 1 dx. I have just multiplied all these functions by dx and put the integration sign. Now I have to integrate. Why integrating if there are any constants inside the sign of integration, take it out. So I equals this is 5 times integral x to the power 4 dx minus 3 times, I am taking 3 outside x cube dx plus 2 outside integral sign x square dx plus there is no constant here, so write x dx plus integral 1 dx or simply dx. Now you will integrate i equals 5 times of you know x to the power 4 when you read this you have to read it as x to the power 4 now you have utter another word power so you have to use power rule that is x to the power of 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 minus 3 times of x to the power of 3 
So x to the power of 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 plus 2 times of x to the power 2 that is x to the power of 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus x to the power 1 so it is x to the power of 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus integration of dx what is integration of dx? x remember integration of integral dx is x with the constant of integration c so finally the answer is phi into x to the power of 5 divided by 5 minus 3 into x to the power of 4 divided by 4 and 2 into x to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus x square by 2 plus x plus c ok so if there are many functions present together either for addition or for subtraction that is for sum or for difference just separate them take all the constants outside and if you have powers associated with the function use power rule and write the answer